Hey everyone, Logan here from Llama Index, back with another video on our series of bottoms of development with Llama Index. Uh, we're on a quest to build a chatbot using the Llama Index documentation, uh, but in a sort of like bottoms up, uh, low level way. And so last episode, we covered how to use LLMs in Llama Index. And in this video, we're going to cover how to load data and create document objects uh, completely customized in Llama Index. So in Llama Index, there are documents and nodes. Uh, they're essentially the same, but the main difference is, is that a document is intended to represent the entire document, whether that's an entire page in a PDF, the entire PDF, entire Word file, etc. cetera. Um, and when you insert these documents into an index, they are broken down into nodes, which are basically smaller chunks of that original document used for retrieval and question answering and whatnot. And so these documents and nodes can have a few different attributes, uh, such as metadata, which can be something like a category or a file name, uh, as well as relationships, which can be links to other nodes or documents. So for example, when you put a document inserted into an index, uh, the nodes contain a reference to the parent document ID. Uh, and so that's an example of a relationship. And we could see the actual usage for creating a document is super simple. Uh, we can import it, create it, give it some text, super easy. We can also import a simple directory reader and read a directory of data and get a list of documents. So if we want to you know, load all the data from our documentation to create a chatbot, we would just use the simple directory reader and could load everything in our docs. We can also customize the documents uh, quite heavily, actually, some advanced usage here. Um, like I mentioned before, we can add metadata, so giving it, in this case, a category. We can also tell Llama Index to only use certain metadata for certain parts of Llama Index. So we can say, you know, we only want the embeddings to look at this metadata or we only want the LLM to look at these metadata. Um, and we can see here that we're saying we don't want the LLM to read the category metadata. So when this document or its nodes get sent to the LLM, the LLM doesn't know the category. And on top of that, we could customize the representation of the metadata when this document gets transformed into a string. So we could set the separator between each uh, metadata field in the dictionary. We could see what each key value is formatted as here, I've customized it with a little arrow. And then on top of that, when the metadata gets inserted next to the text, we can add a template for what that looks like. And here I've added a little label for metadata, a little line divider, and a little label for the content. Super simple, uh, but this allows for some pretty, I would say, complex representations uh, and customization in Llama Index. So that's how to create documents. Uh, and now we're actually going to cover how we can, you know, create dom documents for the Llama Index documentation. So I have a notebook here to cover that. Um, what I've done ahead of time here is I've created a custom document loader uh, for the markdown docs in do Llama Index. So we're only gonna worry about the markdown documents because we just wanna keep the scope a little, a little narrow and we should still be able to get a useful chatbot with just our markdown documents in our, in our documentation. Um, and I've just made a function here to basically go through and parse the markdown, which is like a super structured format. We know where the headers are. We know where the code blocks are. Uh, and there's just a bunch of handling that for that in here. Now, while Llama Index does have a built-in markdown reader, uh, building this on your own gets you, one, more familiar with how to create documents, and two, if we ever need to customize further how these documents are being loaded, now we have straight access to how that's being loaded. Uh, for instance, here, one kind of customization that I did make was all the code blocks keep track of the paragraph above it, because often that paragraph above it is introducing that code block. So it's kind of like an extra piece of reference text that we can use later on, maybe we'll see, to help the question answer process work better. So just a quick demo of how this actually works. I'm going to append to my path here so I can actually load from my little folder here with my script. Um, I made a quick helper function here to load the markdown documents. And here I'm just saying exclude everything except for markdown documents. We only want to, we only care about those. And then here I set a custom loader for 
that I was just showing. Uh, so basically what this does is it sets it up for .md files will use my loader. And then lastly, I set recursive equal to true. Uh, our documentation is a little nested, so it's going to recursively go through every folder and file and find every markdown file. That's as simple as that. Um, in, I have a folder of all the documentation, uh, every <laughs> folder from our documentation. Um, I'm loading it into separate lists of documents uh, because each folder kind of captures a very specific part of Llama index. Uh, so if you're building you know, a chatbot over the documentation, it can be helpful to sort this ahead of time uh, to make question answering easier later. So load those documents, it's pretty quick. Uh, and now we can just kind of investigate a little bit what this actually looks like. Uh, so I'm gonna grab the agent docs there. Uh, you could see, you know, it's printed out uh, all our metadata at the top here. So you can see we're keeping track of file name, content type is going to be either text or code, and the header path, which is like how nested the markdown headers are. So obviously right now we're at the top level it's just module guides. If I go to maybe five here, now you can see the header path is data agents, concept, tool abstraction. So this is just a way to help the LLM understand what documentation it's even looking at right now. And again, you can access the metadata directly just by you know including that little uh, dot metadata attribute. And we can see here that it's formatted as a dictionary. And that looks good. But we can actually customize this even further. Uh, we can set up our own text template. So like before we saw on the slides, we could add a little header for the metadata, a little separator, and then the content. We can customize the metadata template, and then we could separate them by spaces. So now basically the metadata will be a comma separated list rather than line by line. Uh, so we can go through and apply this to all the docs in the agent docs list. And then we can go through and print uh, the content from that doc. Uh, you'll notice here I've added a metadata mode. Um, and this is what Llama Index uses under the hood to get the text for different parts of Llama Index. So there's a metadata mode for embeddings and for LLMs, and then also all. And so you can see here that it fetches all the metadata in a single comma separated line. And then we have our content following our template that we specified up here. Now we can get a bit more advanced with this customization. We can say that for the LLM metadata, so the metadata that the LLM reads, uh, we don't want it to see the file name. So now when we call get content with the metadata mode LLM, after applying this exclusion, we can see that the file name is no longer present in the text, which is what we wanted. And we can apply the same thing to the embeddings. And we see that also the embeddings no longer see the file name. And so that's basically it. In this video, we've covered how to create documents, uh, the different ways you can customize them, and I'll provide links down below so you can read my Markdown Reader. It's not perfect, uh, but it works. Uh, and it's kind of an example of how you can build your own loaders. They're not scary. Uh, it just takes a little bit of time to write, and then you have full control over how your data is loaded and what your documents look like. Hope this video was helpful, and see you in the next one.